Hello everybody, I'm with Duty Paid and today we're looking at the hydrometer. No, the hydrometer, digital hydrometer. I picked these, I picked three up three of these up on eBay for about £4.50 each. The price varies and the style can vary as well. But you know when you're in your mansion and you're wandering around the different wings and going into the different parts of it and you think well, how warm is this? What's the humidity like? Well, I thought about sticking these in different parts of the building and uh, see what it's like. Only kidding, I don't have a mansion, but I have several rooms and uh, each room can be cooler or warmer than the others. Like the bathroom can be quite warm, the living room can be quite good, but the bedroom is cooler. And obviously you don't want humidity forming, which can lead to problems like mould and damp and... Uh, and even health wise some people say if it's sort of, then not the humidity but the humidity can go on to cause other problems so these are slightly different i've got one already um not this make slightly different so i thought we'd crack one of these open and uh, have a quick look so it comes in a sort of blister packet and we have some uh, chinese well not chinese instructions uh, mode, set current time and uh, adjustment, but no one ever reads instructions until it's later. So let's have a quick look around. Quite a small unit. Um, LCD the screen. Looks like it has a, a little stand as well. They say you can wall mount these. I noticed. I'm not sure how. It's like to have a magnet on back. Let's just try sticking it to the fridge. It will stick to the fridge, so uh, you could have one in there. And this will be the battery compartment. It's like a triple way. Oh. Looks like a triple way, but it's not. Oh, I see. I thought maybe one battery was left out, but this is a... Uh, what battery is that? Oh, the old classic LR44s. I really got everything in the thing. But let's... Uh, Shove battery in there. Oh dear. So it's a kind of shove battery. Shove battery in. Well, closing that. Okay. So what we currently got? Uh, we got twenty-one point nine degrees. Seven o'clock. Alarm set. Oh. And 55% humidity, apparently, and uh, says I'm happy as well, which uh, I suppose I am. Are you having a good day today? I hope so. So let's see the, uh, I've never used one of these, so let's see if we're going to adjust these. Mode, set current time, 12. Okay. Press and hold. No, oh, yeah, there we go. So adjustment. So what time is it? Let's look at the oven. Ten minutes past three, so I've completely done that wrong. Quite a shrill beep. And Oh, now I'm sad. Oh, because it's probably in my <laughs> And I know if um, humidity is a bit too high, it can be uh, um, bad. And uh, so that's alarm, alarm off. Min and max. So that will, this is quite handy. And that will tell you at one minute past midnight the uh, what the humid temperature was, and the minimum, obviously when we first turned it on. How do we clear that? Press and hold. Mode. Adjustment. Or maybe it's a rolling. So, can we see that? Hopefully, you've been able to see that because I should check my phone more. So we have a little face there, and uh, twenty-three point one centigrade, and the time. Oh, time's gone back to. Uh, I want to set that. Mode. Oh, that's the alarm. That's not good, is it? So that's uh, oh, 24 hours or oh, 
Oh, I see. Let's just do that again. Press and hold mode. No. Nope. Press and hold mode. Okay. Let's go for 12 hours. Then mode. Then adjust to free, which we know. And it should be about... Check the old oven. Uh, 11 will do. So, probably in my hand at the moment. That should adjust. Let's have a look around the box. So there's the uh, desktop placing or wall hanging. And uh, digital thermometer, digital thermometer and hydrometer. Uh, humidity temperature clock digital series. Specifications, temperature range indoor minus 10 to plus 50. If the inside of your house is below minus 10, then centigrade, then you have a problem. Um, for Fahrenheit as well, and I did notice, probably hard to pick up on the camera, there's a little, little pinhole there. You can change it to uh, Fahrenheit if you want to be backwards. <laughs> Just kidding. Or you get angry. But centigrade, water freezes at zero and boils at 100. It's it's easy. Mark plus 14 to plus 122 Fahrenheit. It's just complicated. Functions. Clock, indoor temperature and indoor humidity display. Uh, temperature unit, centigrade and Fahrenheit. Changeable, memorized max and min values of indoor temperature with value time display. Uh, clock and everyday alarm function, two modes of time display, 12 and 24 hours. Display of comfort degree. Um, happy face appears at indoor temperature of 18 to 25. And humidity of 40% RH to 65%. RH. Hmm. Uh, sad face appears when indoor temperature and humidity... Appears at other indoor temperature and humidity. So if it's, uh, oh I see, more than 25. And that's why it probably got a bit sad. I think it was going up to 27 in my hand. Uh, operation, open battery compartment, take out the prior, priority insulator, put on the cover and then the meter starts to work. We didn't see a priority indicator. Strange. Battery function, max min Press display, memorize max and min values of temperature. And when it says battery in compartment. So I think there's a bit more detailed instructions of uh, um, record. It doesn't say anything about clearing the temperature, which is quite handy sometimes if you're away and you just want to monitor the temperature while you're away. Um, alterations, in any case, abnormal display occurs please take out the power supply battery and put the battery back in after two seconds then the meter returns to normal display please put away the replaced battery at the place appointed by government um okay i'll phone up the government later and find out where to put the uh, replacement battery we will not inform separately in case of any changes made to this meter. No, isn't it? Oh, they might phone me up and just, you know, let me know something. Um, under clock mode, and then the rest of it is uh, just setting the clock function. But if you have any outs of the uh, sense, um, it should be fairly easy. Only time will tell. Um, 24.5 degrees. That seems a bit high to me. Let me just crack open uh, one of the others and to see what temperature that reads. Uh, good comes with battery. Battery gets a bit jammed in there. Ooh, uh, I've been pressure. All right. Calm down. Calm down. Do it. Ah, oh, why can't I just stick a triple A in here? Got loads of triple A. Okay, let's have a look. 
I completely destroyed that. Ah, uh, that's how I think. So that is. Oh, I see. It was on min and max. Okay, so let's just put those two together. Don't worry about the time. And obviously, I've been uh, holding them. And I'll tell you what we do. We do a little bit of magic. And uh, I don't know if they are picking up on camera. So they. Oops, shish. Did that work better for you? Oh. Yeah. Oi. So they are together. Together, just the two of us, side by side. Oh, so what we got? We got about a 0 0.9 degree out and 10% uh, humidity. So what we do is we will set a five minute timer, come back and see what they say. Okay, so we're back after five minutes, and uh, let's have a look. Um, 20, uh, 23.8 degrees centigrade, and our fridge just started. I knew I had a slight time period, but we'll do this quick. And 23.6, and that's 0.2 of a degree out between each other. And uh, 2 degrees out on humidity between each other. Mm. Probably not the finest um, calibrated units in the world. Let's just switch them about. I could really get the third one up and running and see what that is. But, you know, 47 to 49% humidity. Mm. And uh, 0.4 of a degrees out. I think that's within tolerance. Yeah, I think it's probably plus or minus about 5. Um, do we have any specifications on here? Uh, no, but ten percent for cheap hum um, hydrometer, thermo hydrometer. Anyway, am I happy? Who knows? Maybe I'll do an update future video. But you can get these from eBay. I won't show you the listing. Search on these your local currency in your local country, and you should find them. Um, I paid about four pounds, which is probably about six seven eight dollars maybe um probably get them cheaper from china if you want to wait these only took a couple of days to come from ebay uk which were actually shipped from jersey so that could be a bit of a tax dodge but that's between them and their own consciousness anyway so i hope you enjoyed that i have a duty paid more videos coming up um i was a bit content dry and now it's like i've got editing a couple of videos and a couple of videos to make. <laughs> Hope the uh, 15 people who watch them are entertained. As always, leave a like if you did like, leave a like even if you didn't. And uh, feel free to subscribe. I'd like to get my channel up. I'm about 2,000 hours at the moment, so if I can get up to 4,000 hours, I can get my uh, sort of four cents a day back in ad revenue. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Anyway, I still enjoy making these videos, talking on to you. Please leave a comment, something nice. Never get any nice comments, you should read my spam folders. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. I'm a duty paid. Goodbye.